Hi, in this series of videos we're going to be looking at the total surface area of cylinders. Uh, so this is one of those questions where it's worthwhile practicing. They are round about grade four and the second question in the second video on this particular playlist is probably encroaching upon a grade five. I hope they're useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Stop the video, have a go at the question, compare your solution. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at the total surface area of cylinders, or at least solid cylinders. And uh, we've got um, two questions in this particular video. Um, please do have a go at each of the questions, stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solution. Okay, so the first one, we've got a solid cylinder with a height of that and a radius of that, work out the total surface area. Okay, well, one of perhaps the, the best ways of doing these sorts of things is to actually draw a quick sketch first of what it is you're working out. Now, the reason I would do that is because it's a bit like perhaps in primary school, you would have done nets or something like that. So so the whole idea is you've got the very top a circle well the area of a circle is pi r squared and at the very bottom you've got the same circle pi r squared okay and then wrapped around it you've got this uh, rectangle okay so um, if you can imagine if I open this cylinder then this would be a rectangle that would open up to something like that okay where I've got a height of 12 and then I've actually got this length along here which is the same as the circumference of the circle now there's two different formulas uh, they both mean exactly the, the same but the one I would tend to use is pi d in other words the diameter of the circle multiplied by pi so in this particular case now I can start to put um, some numbers into these particular calculations. So the first one I'm going to have as pi and 5 is the radius squared. Well, that's going to give me 25 pi. That's fairly straightforward. And again, the bottom one is exactly the same. OK, that's also 25 pi. Now, at the moment, um, I appreciate it's very tempting to kind of work out 25 times pi um, and write out the whole number but um, you don't particularly need to because we're going to be adding them up at the end and then we'll convert it to three significant figures. Let's look at the middle one then. So what I've got then is the diameter of this particular circle is going to be twice the radius so it's actually going to be 10. So this length along here will be 10 times pi. It's just kind of easier to write it as 10 pi. Okay, so I've now got 10 pi multiplied by 12, which is this depth along here. So that's going to give me a total of 120 pi. OK, so now it's a case of really just adding up each of those three um, numbers here to get the total surface area. So the total surface area is going to be 25 pi plus 120 pi plus 25 pi again. And when I add all of that up, I'm going to get 170 pi. OK, now it's just a case then of answering the question to give your answer correct to three significant figures. And on the calculator, once you've got 170 pi, if you just use the SD key here, that will allow you to convert through to the decimal equivalent, which if I wanted to write out all the numbers would be 534 point zero seven zero seven five one one and so on okay however they only want it to three significant figures so the first three significant figures are 534 i'm not going to change those because of the zero there so that's going to give me 534 centimeters squared and that's to three significant figures and that would be the answer to this particular question okay hope that's okay for you we'll move on then to 
question number two. And again, as I say, please do stop the video, have a go at the question and then compare your solution. Now, this one appears to be a little bit more straightforward because what it's asking us to do is to give our answer in terms of pi. So we don't need the SD key to do those sorts of converts, but I'm going to use the same process. In other words, I'm going to draw out its, uh, if you like, its net. OK, so back in primary school, you would have talked about the net of a 3D shape. OK. And if I uh, lay everything out flat, then I've got this rectangle in the middle, which is going to be this curtain around here. I've got my two circles, which is one at the top and one at the bottom. And again, as before, I've got pi r squared, pi r squared. And if you remember, the um, circumference of a circle is going to be this length along here, which I'm going to use pi d for, okay, and the height of this particular rectangle is going to be 8. Okay, so let's now put in some numbers. Now, we've got to be a little bit careful because what they've done is they've given us the diameter of three meters. Well, actually, that means that the radius itself, if I put this up here, the radius itself is going to be 1.5. So just be very, very careful not to get caught out by those sorts of things. What you need to do is make sure you've got the radius each time if you're using this particular formula. So I'm going to have pi 1.5 squared. OK, pop that into a calculator or just work it out yourself and you should get 2.25 pi. OK, and it's going to be exactly the same for the bottom circle, pi 1.5 squared, 2.25 pi. OK, so the uh, rectangle in the middle, let's have a look at that. Well, we know now that the diameter is 3 metres. So actually, pi times the diameter is going to give me 3 pi. So I've got 3 pi times 8, well, that's going to give me 24 pi. And then it really is just a case of, as we did before, adding up these numbers. But we don't need to convert it then to the decimal equivalent. We could just simply say the total surface area equals. Now, I've got to be a bit careful with the decimal points. OK, this is 24.00 pi and this is 2.25 pi. And you can see here, hopefully, that I've lined up the decimal points just to make sure that I'm going to be able to calculate this accurately. And what I'll end up with is 28 point five zero pi. OK, so the answer in terms of pi would be the total surface area. And if you want to put point five zero or twenty eight point five pi, it's exactly the same number. Hopefully that's OK for you. So please do uh, comment if you're not sure about anything. Add a like. It does keep the YouTube uh, algorithm very happy. And thank you so much for watching the video today. And I look forward to seeing you in the second video where we're going to look at taking these questions just a little bit step further on. But I'm going to answer the doorbell first. <laughs> OK, see you soon. <laughs>